If you're not in the place in your life that you want to be, if you haven't achieved everything that you want to achieve, if you're not doing the kind of work that you want to be doing, and if you're not living the lifestyle that you ultimately want to be living, then the greatest asset that you have in your life is your time. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you why that's so important, and I'm going to tell you how to eliminate the biggest time-sucking vampire that exists in your life right now. So stay tuned. Time is an asset. Now most people don't recognize this, they don't understand this because they waste their time. They waste their time watching TV, watching sports, playing video games, or scrolling mindlessly through Facebook. And you know, a lot of them, it makes them miserable, and sometimes they even recognize that it makes them miserable, but they keep doing it. Why? They do it because they, are, they have an expression for it. It's called killing time, right? And to, to the rest of us, that's completely crazy. They're taking their most valuable asset that they have in their lives, and they're killing it. They're destroying their most valuable asset. But that's the way that most people live their lives because they don't recognize that time is an asset. So if you just recognize that time is an asset, you're already head and shoulders above 95% of the population. You've probably heard the expression, time is money. Now, that's a lot better than killing time because at least you're putting some value on time, but time is absolutely not money. Time is a lot more valuable than money. And as my business coach, Myron Golden, likes to say, if you believe that time is money, then you're gonna make two huge mistakes in your life. First huge mistake you're gonna make is you're going to trade a lot of your time for a little bit of somebody else's money. And the second mistake you're going to make is that you're going to spend a lot of time trying to save a little bit of money. So time is not money. And if you get that out of your head, then you'll be a lot more effective with your most valuable asset, which is time, which is far more valuable than money. Now, if you accept that time is more valuable than money, then I have some really good news for you. The good news is this, time can be bought with money. That's right, you can buy more of your time with money, you can buy the more valuable asset with the less valuable asset, and I'm gonna show you how. One way that you can buy back your time with money is that you can pay people to do things for you that you already have to do. So you have to eat, right? Well, you can, you can pay a restaurant to prepare your food for you, and better yet, you can pay a delivery driver to bring that food to you. Uh, you have to clean your house sometimes, right? You could pay a maid to do that for you. You could pay a lawn care service to, to take care of your lawn. I mean, even things that you, you don't normally think of paying somebody to do. Uh, there's an app I found recently called TaskRabbit. That's TaskRabbit. That will, you, can, you can find people that do just about anything for you. They'll assemble your furniture. They'll move stuff for you. They'll uh, organize your house. They will, um, you, they'll go to the drugstore for you. Like Whatever it is that you have to do, like monotonous tasks, you can pay people to do that for you and thus buy more time. You're buying time with money. You're spending the less valuable asset money at a pretty low rate to buy the more valuable asset, which is your time. Now, the best way to earn back more of your time is to eliminate the biggest time-sucking vampire that exists in your life. And if you're like most people, then the biggest waste of time that exists in your life is your job. Now, if you're working a normal full-time job, you're working 40 hours a week, you know, if you're not doing overtime. But chances are you're wasting a lot more time than that, even though 40 hours a week is a lot of time. But think about how, how much time do you spend driving to and from work? Probably if, you, if your commute is half an hour to an hour, you're spending, that's an extra five to 10 hours per week you're spending on your job. How much time when you're off work are you thinking about your job? That's time and mental energy that you're spending on this job. How much time do you spend hanging out with coworkers and talking about the job when you're outside of work? That's more time and effort that you're spending on this job. So this job ends up consuming 50 to 60 hours of your week and that's only if you're working normal hours, if you're not working overtime. So if you can get rid of your job, you will free up an enormous amount of time, which is your most valuable asset. So why do people even have jobs? Well, they have jobs for two reasons. The first reason is because they have bills to pay. And the second reason is because they don't have the money to pay those bills. So they need to work for somebody else so that somebody else will give them some of their money so that they can pay their bills. Now, I'm gonna show you 
how to attack that on both fronts. The first reason that you need a job is because you don't have money. Now, in order to get money, you have to save. So start saving your money. Stop spending your money on stupid, feel-good, poor people stuff like like cars and status symbols and, and uh, new gadgets and bling-bling. Stop spending that money and start saving it so that you can buy back your time and you can buy back your freedom. One of the best ways to save is to use your company's 401k match if they have it. You know, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, a lot of companies will, will if you save part of your, your income for retirement, they will, they will match it. They'll pay 50% or 100% of that on top of what you're saving. So, you know, a lot of people don't recognize that they can do this in order to buy their freedom. They say, oh, well, that money is for retirement. It's like, okay, yeah, that's what they say. You have to pay maybe a 20% penalty if you take it out early. But think about it. Your company is paying a 100% match or a 50% match, and you're only paying a, a 20% penalty. That's still a pretty good deal. So you're getting free money that way. So, so absolutely max out your company's 401k match. I'm, I'm talking about saving. I'm not saying that you should save for your retirement. I'm not telling you to invest in stocks. I'm not telling you to invest in bonds. I'm not telling you to invest in Bitcoin or whatever is the, the fad of the moment. I'm telling you to save your money so that you can invest in your time, so that you can buy back your time rather than having to go into an office and waste 60 hours of every week working for somebody else for somebody else's purpose and not working for your own purpose. The second reason that people have jobs is because they have to pay their bills. So the second part of this process is going to be we are going to reduce our bills as much as possible. So the idea is the higher our savings and the lower our bills that we have to pay, the more time we can buy ourselves back. Now, just the very act of quitting your job automatically reduces significantly one of the biggest expenses in your life, and that is your taxes. So when you're not working, you don't have to pay income tax. You don't have to pay Social Security tax. You don't have to pay Medicare tax. So you're automatically getting rid of one of the biggest expenses in your life. Now, one of the things that I've done in the past is I would quit my job in the middle of the year. So when you're working for half a year, uh, say you're making $80,000 a year. Well, you've only made $40,000 in that year because you quit halfway through. But your tax withholding was withholding as though you were going to be making $80,000. So they withhold a lot more than they need to. So come January of next year, you get a nice big fat uh, income tax refund check. So that's a nice way to kind of save without having to think about it. Now, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up icon, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell beside the subscribe icon because I'm gonna be releasing a lot of amazing new content and that means that you will be the first to get it. And if you know somebody who you think would be helped by this, who you think would be blessed by this content, share it with that person. Share it on your social media, share it on your Facebook, on your Twitter, or send an email, send a text, whatever it is. If you think it could help someone, then please go ahead and share it. Another way that you can reduce your expenses by a lot so you can start buying back your time is by spending less on your housing expense and your car expense. You know, middle class people are terrible about this. They say, oh, I'm gonna get the nicest place that I can get that I can pay the payments on. And I'm gonna buy the most expensive car that I can afford the payments on. So they're sucking themselves completely dry. They have no money left over because they're spending so much more than they really need to. So downgrade the amount of money that you're spending on your house and your car and you'll have a whole lot of money left over. Now that's just one of the big mistakes that middle class people tend to make that keeps them from ever achieving very much, that keeps them stuck in mediocrity. So if you wanna learn more about that, check out the free special report that I did with my mentor Myron Golden. It's called The 11 Biggest Mistakes That Middle Class People Make That Keep Them From Becoming Rich. I'll put the link in the description, it's free, so go ahead and check that out. Now, one of the best ways that you can reduce your expenses by a lot is go to a country with a cheap cost of living for a while. I'm in Colombia right now. You might be able to see behind me. Um, this place is beautiful. I'm in the mountains surrounded by coffee fields. Everybody's super nice. The food is good and everything costs a third of what it does back home. So if you live in somewhere where everything costs a third of what it does back home, you are tripling the amount of time that you can buy with your money. You are increasing the amount of time that you can buy with the same amount of money by a factor of three. Now, I tell you in detail how to do this. It's called a digital nomad lifestyle, and I have a course called Digital Nomad University. So I'll put a link to that in the description. 
check that out if you're interested in learning more about that. If you can get rid of your job, you are going to free up a ton of your time. You know, I mentioned in this video all about how you can teach yourself high income, a high income skill that you can make a lot of money from. You can teach yourself in just two weeks. Now, when I said two weeks, I mentioned in the video, that's two weeks of intensive learning. That's two weeks where you're dedicating yourself full time to learning this skill. And I mentioned that, you know, that may not be feasible for everybody because if you have a job, then you're not going to be able to dedicate yourself full time. So if you could if you could dedicate yourself one hour per day with the job, you could do it. But that two weeks would extend into four months. So if you don't have a job, what would take somebody else four months would take you just two weeks. Surely you can see how an amazing advantage that is to you if you're trying to teach yourself something, if you're trying to build a business, whatever you're trying to do, having that much time is going to be an enormous asset that's going to help you immensely. This kind of information that you've been learning is meaningless if you don't implement it. So I want you to implement this information, figure out some ways to buy back your time. And I want you to put in the comments, what is one thing that you are willing to commit to doing, that you're willing to say publicly that I'm going to do Put in the comments what you're going to do in order to buy back more of your time. And it could be something you could do today. Say, okay, I'm going to start getting delivery instead of uh, instead of cooking all the time and spending three hours of my day cooking. Or it could be something that's more longer term. It could be that I am going to start saving money so that I can quit my job. Whatever it is, commit to something and write it down in the comments. Write it down. Make it public so that it's real, so that you have accountability. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, I think you will also really enjoy this video in which I tell you what is the single greatest obstacle people have to their success. So go ahead, check out the video now.